So I actually got a phone call from Noah. Well, we ended up finding a massive python inside of his freshwater lagoon at his house. Oh, here you go, here you go, here you go. Mm -hmm. This is ground zero for the problem. Wait. Oh my god! He's going up the cage. Oh my god, he's going in. Oh, I'm pulling him out, I'm pulling him out, I got him! What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day despite the circumstances, despite this quarantine. So I want all of you guys to stay home and stay safe. The sooner we listen and we stay home, social distance, the sooner we'll get out of this mess. But for today's video, I actually got a phone call from Noah. He's had some chickens actually disappear from his house. So I decided to go take a look. Now Noah lives very close to the Everglades and well, we ended up finding a massive python inside of his freshwater lagoon at his house. It was absolutely insane. That was earlier today, so we're going to hop right into that now. I am back here at Noah's house for yet another video. But What's up, bro? Yeah, what's up, man? So, it's corona time. You know, we got to use elbow bumping because, you know, we don't want to catch coronavirus around here. Not that you have it, bro. No. So, Noah called me over because his parents have noticed that a couple of their chickens have disappeared in the past week. Isn't that right? Yeah, yeah. In the past week or two, there's just been like three chickens that have gone missing. Three yeah. chickens that have gone missing. And, well, if we go in the back there, they can't fit through the fence. But a predator could fit in the fence. Now, Noah lives just a couple of miles from the Everglades. And pythons are found all throughout this neighborhood. If you look on Edmaps, which Edmaps is basically where you can report invasive species. In his neighborhood, there's been a ton of pythons reported found. So, <laughs> I think we got a python problem here. Noah, you probably have a python in your backyard. Yeah, I hope not. But hopefully, if I do, we can find them. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to find it. Now, the reason why I personally think it's a python is there has been no carcasses left in the chicken coop. And if you look, Noah has this incredible backyard this huge freshwater lagoon the python has a source of water and it has all these crazy bushes and you can see the bushes are just all over so a python could nestle up here nestle over there he could go to your koi pond noah take me over to the chicken coop let's try to find this snake or whatever's right. getting this all right let's go this way all right let's go so this is noah's koi pond if you've watched the channel before you will know that we've done a couple videos where we feature the pond i actually got his grandpa's turtles we've been here before just to kind of just feed the koi fish now for dealing with a python noah i don't think you have to worry about him eating your koi fish which is pretty good yeah but the chickens is a problem yeah the They're chickens is a problem missing. we don't want the chickens to go missing but i want you to see just how amazing this koi pond is guys go comment down below if you've ever seen a koi pond this big i mean it is just absolutely massive you can see he's just got some huge koi fish hanging out and i know you got a red tail catfish where is he is he under here his tail's hanging out the edge of the his, rock oh okay yeah his tail's hanging out the edge of the rock i don't really see him but let's keep going bro let's go to this chicken coop and try to find this snake so we have almost made it back to the chicken coop and i just found what appears to be the perfect python nesting area python home if you look at this they just have all of this rubble here this is just all trees all kinds of thin loose leaf debris that pythons would love to just get all up in this i mean there could be a python up in here noah you know you have like the perfect area where yeah, you could be harboring a python that's what's scaring us the most is that there could be one or maybe more than one yeah one or more than one if you've had a couple chickens disappear it's more than likely that you've had like a couple pythons here yeah. because one python is going to eat a chicken wait a couple weeks maybe a month but you could see he's just got this all kinds of rubble bro you even have the ponies and horses a big enough python could actually take down one of noah's goats that's the scariest thing of all. That's the scariest yeah. thing of all. And he also has this big equipment right here and the python sometimes could very well nestle up in here. Especially if this machinery has been operating, the motor's gonna be nice and warm. And at nighttime, the pythons will sense the heat and they'll come up inside of here and they'll actually get near the motor where it's nice and warm, bro. Bro, you have like the prime habitat for pythons. You've even got a truck under here where there could be a python. But here's the chicken coop. This is ground zero for the problem. So this massive chicken coop here, Noah, this is ground zero for your problem right here. So yeah. Noah just pointed out to me that if you look right here, there's a little area where a python that's maybe eight feet, eight, anywhere from zero to eight feet could slip right into here. But there is no area where the chickens could escape. If you look, the chain link is just so close to the ground that there's no way a chicken could get through. And even so, the barbs would cut him. 
but and any python could just get right through here hi guys guys go comment down below right now if you've seen a chicken coop this big because i mean guys there's just all kinds of chickens now i want you to go and tell me which one is your favorite do you like the white ones do you like the brown ones or do you like the black ones oh my gosh there is a lot of chicken so no i how many chickens do you have in here, roughly? It's like 20, 25, I think. 25. 26, yeah. Now, does that, is that including what you have no. now, or the ones that went no, missing? we had like 30 about two months ago, and about four or five have gone missing. We can't seem to figure out the problem. So four to five have gone missing, and he can't seem to figure out the problem. Well, if you look here, we might have figured out, oh my gosh, whoa. Noah, can I name him Larry? Yes. All right, his name is Larry. So now that we took a look at the chicken coop, obviously there is no python nearby. Noah, is there any other spot in this yard that you think there might be a python? Do you think, actually, where do you keep the feed for the ponies? Because they could very well be inside of like your tack room. Because I'm just looking at this area, guys. We're going to go over here, actually. Because there's a little barn in here where it's nice and dry, warm, where these pythons might want to live. Oh my gosh, Noah has brought me inside of here and these two goats are just huge. Look how big they are, oh my gosh. So this is your feed room, right? Yeah, we have all our feed in these bins. So there's all this feed in the bins. Now, I don't know if there would be a python in here because there's not a lot of hay and stuff like that, but a little python could definitely fit through these little crevices right here. Um, this could also house rats. Have you ever seen rats in here? Yeah, we, we, we see rats a lot. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at that, there's rat poop right there. So yeah, you definitely have a rat problem, but thankfully the feed is covered in here so the rats can't get in there. They can't poop on the feed. Oh, hi goats, hi. Hello, can I can I give you a pet? Can I, you, you want some food? Can I give you some food? Noah just gave me some sweet feed for the goats. We're gonna, just gonna feed them right now. Oh, look how cute they are. I just love goats, they're just so gentle. They're just so much fun. They just want attention and food. I mean, who doesn't want that? Oh, hello, hello. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, here you go, here you go, here you go. Mm, 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 mm. I love you, I love you, I love you. Come on, let's go. You cannot stay in here and eat. If we left the goats in here, they would eat all day. I mean, you can see this yeah, guy is, uh, this, this is a, a heifer right here. It's a big boy right here. Yeah, Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. All right, Noah's got to pick him up. Pick up the goat. Come on, guys. You guys need to get out of here. Get over here with your ponies. Oh, my gosh. Look at you and your fly mouse. Hello, hello. Hi. How are you doing? Oh yeah, we're getting a lot of hay right now. Noah's gonna feed the goats, and these guys will just totally eat this whole block right here. Hey, we just got you some, we got you some hay. Oh, you, you want some more? Oh, okay, okay. Guys, go right now and comment down below if I should get some goats. I might get some goats when I get my house. Noah, what do you think? Should I get some goats? I think you should definitely get some goats. Uh, goats are pretty cool. Yeah, they're pretty cool, man. They, they got some personality to them. They too. definitely do. So now that we kind of checked the goats out, we checked the ponies, we checked the chicken coop, we're going to check around the pool because where there's water, that's where the animals want to be. If there's a water source, that means they can hydrate, stay healthy, and pythons actually love to swim. All right, we're checking out the pool now because, wait, wait, bro, what is that? Do you see that right there? Dude, is that is shit that a moving? No, 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 it's not. No. no wait, wait, wait. wait. Let, let me let me look over the edge. No way. Oh bro. my god. No. Bro. Dude, I bro. In this pool. Bro, you, bro, stop. You put that there, bro. You're breaking no, me. Dude, bro. you're breaking me. Stop. How am I gonna have access to Guys, that? look at that. That's a snake under there. Guys, go right now and comment down below if Noah's pranking me. Did Noah did, did Noah a serpent Did Noah go serpent. catch like I don't even know what it is. It could be Dude, this is probably just your, your neighbor's loose pet, honestly. Bro, that thing dude. is massive. Dude, he's huge. Okay, okay, okay. Uh uh we gotta get a mask. 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 Do you have a mask? Yeah, we go, go. Get get the mask. Oh my gosh. Guys, go comment down below if this is a boa, a python, something. I don't know, but there's a big snake in the bottom of this lagoon. You got the mask? Got oh, okay. Mask, here, here, here. Uh, uh, guys, I'll be back with you. I, I brought the GoPro in the car. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run the, and go get the GoPro right now. Guys, I got my mask. I got the GoPro. Socks. I don't know where he is. Uh, GoPro, and we are live on the GoPro, boys. We gotta go get this snake. My chest is hurting. Oh. <laughs> Watch out, there's a huge snake in there. I don't know how I dove in, but my gosh. Oh, my right log. Oh. Are you you think you can do it? Guys, I might have this thing called squeeze trachea. It's when you're like descending and you don't tuck your neck in. This pool's about 15 feet deep. I went down low and this whole side right here is really killing me, guys. I could use a little prayer because I still gotta catch this snake, but yeah. dude, dude, it's really hurting bad. Like I've never had that before when I've been free diving. Guys, this is real live action. We're gonna go back in. We're gonna catch this python. Go get him. Gotta defog the mask. Let's go. 
Dude, he, he's just cruising around. Is he going up the wall? He's going up the wall, bro. I don't know if you can hear this audio too well because it's on a GoPro. But this is crazy. I've never found a python in this like a lagoon type crystal clear setting. It's just absolutely incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He probably, guys, he probably has some sort of a burrow, some sort of a cave right up under here. Yeah, you might want to get him. Yeah. Oh my god, he's going up the cave. Oh my god, he's going in. I'm pulling him out. I'm pulling him out. I got him. Python has a cave under here. Gonna pull him out. He's stuck. Oh my gosh. He's coming at me. Oh my gosh. No. Oh my gosh. Dude. Dude, he's huge. He's trying to get up in your rocks. Oh my gosh. Let's bring him to the shallow end. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do Take him to the shallow. Take him to the shallow. So right now, the python was just... Guys, the python was just trying to get... Oh, my gosh. He's trying oh, to get me. going for you. He's hissing. Oh. I got him. You got him. I got him by the head. Good. Dude, I'm All right. so tired. He's yours. He's going to wrap around your arm. Watch out. Right. Here, hand me the GoPro. Hand me the GoPro. I got it, bro. You got it? Right. I got it. Huge python. Oh my gosh, guys. This was one of the craziest fights I've ever had with a python. I am just so, so out of breath. I want you guys to come take a look at his pattern. It is so sad that a snake like this is going to have to be humanely euthanized. Because he is an invasive species, he is wrecking havoc on our native wildlife. This guy has probably been eating your chickens. You might have more. And I'm just so out of breath right now. Yeah, you had wrestling a wrestling and wrangling this thing one-handed while I like mess my lung up under the water. But dude, right here, bro. Right there. Did it. Let's bring him out. Let's yeah. see. Let's see how big he is. Let's, Let's get out of the pool. Oh my dying. god. Dude, this right here is probably what seven feet, probably six. I'd say about a seven and a half foot. Oh my god. Invasive gosh. python that we just caught in your pool, bro. That's insane. Do you ever want to go in your pool alone now because of that, <laughs> no, guys? No, I really don't. This is absolutely insane. That. If you just look at his teeth, he's full of just razor sharp, hundreds of teeth curved backwards. I don't know if you guys can really see it. Let's get down low if you can really see his teeth. But those teeth are curved backwards. They're up on the top right here. Oh yeah, you can you see got, those can teeth see right there. there. Yeah. Those wow. teeth are used when they grab on a prey to hook them backwards so the prey cannot get loose. But that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching this crazy ride today. If you guys have not already enjoyed today's video, please go comment down below what you thought of this crazy python that we caught in the pool. And if you look, you could see where he's probably gotten into fights with other animals. You can oh, see he's yeah, scarred right there. right there. He's scarred there, so he may have been attacked by your chickens, Or maybe dogs. the fence, the fence could have got him. Yeah, maybe. yeah, the chain link fence, the little barbs could have cut him open. I mean, this guy could have been your menace for a couple of years. Whoa, oh my gosh, this is, oh. this is one mean snake. If, well, unfortunately, we are going to have to go right now and humanely euthanize this python. By state law, any pythons caught on public and private lands do have to be humanely euthanized since these are such an invasive predator here in the state of Florida. So we're going to go do that now. I hate doing it. So if you guys have not already and you are not subscribed already and you enjoy the channel, it is the first link down below.